Do I have Asperger's or am I just weird? The Mayo Clinic found that the skyrocketing diagnosis rate of autism wasn't because of vaccines or some horrible plague, but because many people who would have been called retarded are now called autistic. Retarded is considered a bad word. Yeah, whereas autistic is more acceptable. And you get more money for services in school than if the child is simply classified as slow. Autism is defined as being mind blind. I understand that it means you don't understand others. People with autism and Asperger's have trouble understanding others. Asperger's patients usually have better verbal capacity and a higher IQ. I don't think Asperger's is retardation. You just have worse communication skills, and they're often clumsy. Given your verbal skills, why would you even think you have Asperger's? I'm clumsy. I have niche interests and focus on them to the exclusion of other things. We used to call that being a nerd. And those with eccentric interests often have trouble making friends unless they share those weird obsessions. Like Asperger's? Like Trekkies, Star Wars nuts, math geeks, train enthusiasts, gamers a lot of nerds have niche obsessions. And poor social skills to boot. High IQ and niche interests don't mean you can't have social skills. But you're less likely to develop them if you're focused on activities that aren't people-focused. Like the programmer who is an expert in machine languages but lousy putting a sentence together when talking to a girl. A lot of people who are awkward have the Asperger's label slapped on because it gives the school district extra money and the kid extra time to take tests. Though there are few people who are truly mind-blind and oblivious to the desires of others. Bill Gates. President Obama. Bill Gates is a nerd. But he's rich enough that his weirdness is classified as eccentric. Obama is just a narcissist. So if I get rich, my weirdness becomes acceptable? If you're rich, people don't care about the weirdness. So if I make enough money, I'm no longer weird. That's odd. That's life.